What it do, Scorpio, and welcome to my channel. All right, so Scorpio, this is going to be part two of this video. We're going to pull some messages here, and we're going to see why Spirit wants you, what up? wants you to continue to stand your ground when it comes to your divine counterpart. For some of you guys, this could be your twin flame. And then we're going to pull some messages here. We're going to see what does this person need to communicate to you guys. All right, so Spirit, can you tell me why my Scorpios need to continue to stand their ground when it comes to their twin flame or possibly their divine counterpart? Why does my Scorpios need to continue to stand their ground to continue to keep these boundaries? Okay, so we have the, um, yeah, we have the two of cups, okay? For some of you guys, you need to continue. We have the two of cups and the hermit here, okay? For some of you guys need to continue to stand your ground because your twin could be going through this time of self-reflection, okay? This person could be withdrawn from the world, and it's like they're starting to look at, them, at themselves, okay? They're starting to look at their lives, and not only just this connection, Scorpio, but other connections that they share with people as well, okay? This person is examining their partnership that they possibly could have with this karmic or someone else that they are dealing with with okay and this person is trying to go within so that they can align with their other half which is you Scorpio so if you are on a twin flame journey currently right now Scorpio your twin could be in hermit mode okay they're taking time to self reflect they're going in they're withdrawing from their friends their families you know they're kind of to themselves at this time and also while they're self reflecting they're taking time to examine their partnerships I feel like these are partnerships in the past and Scorpio they're examining this partnership and this connection and this love that they had with you okay and they're trying to figure out a way how can they align with their other half which is you Scorpio because this is someone this is where love begins on this twin flame journey this is someone that you're going to learn through experiences together with your twin okay so spirit is saying like i said you know you don't want this person to come back to you and they haven't healed you need this person to be a whole new person when they come back around scorpio because if they don't guess what you're just going to keep on repeating these same cycles over and over and over again so tell me more about why scorpio needs to stand their ground spirit tell me more about this for my scorpios okay so we have the two of wands okay so spirit is saying you need to stand your ground right now because you're twin right now while they self-reflect and they could feel like maybe this this connection doesn't have the potential and maybe it's going to be harder than they think to join forces or to bring or to merge you guys together okay so i feel like while you're twin and self-reflecting scorpio they're realizing that they fucked up you know what i'm saying they like damn man i fucked up so bad like i don't even know what i could do what i can say to scorpio to even make them forgive me or even you know what are the words that i can say to even give a scorpio a chance to, you know to make them give me another chance okay so i feel like this person's like in this two of wands energy like they're not they're unsure you know they're kind of juggling going back and forth you know like will scorpio give me another chance if i try to reach out to scorpio will scorpio actually listen to what i have to say or you know if i try to reach out to scorpio is scorpio just gonna go and cuss me the fuck out <laughs> So tell me more about this Scorpio. Tell me, Scorpio. Tell me more about this spirit for my Scorpios. Okay. Yes, look at this. Four of Wands. Scorpio, this is your divine counterpart, okay? And this person is ready to come home, okay? This person is ready to build a firm foundation with you, Scorpio, okay? This person, if you guys were never in an exclusive relationship, and I'm talking to my twins right here, because most nine times out of ten, if you were in a twin flame connection, you were not exclusive with this person, okay? This is someone that wants to keep this on the hush because they possibly was married, had another committed relationship, or they had something going on, and they didn't want other people to find out about you, okay? So when this person comes back, when your twin flame come back and they feel, okay, this person's going to want to come back and make this situation exclusive, okay, okay. But it's going to take a lot of strength, and it's going to take a lot of courage, okay? And a lot of understanding, I feel like, from you, Scorpio, because y'all know how we are. This thing will come out real quick, okay? This person, you're going to have to find some type of emotional balance when it comes to this situation. But I feel like this person, they're trying to gain the strength because they know they have to confront this problem head on. They know the only way that they're going to get anywhere with you, Scorpio, is to confront this problem head on. All right, so let's pull up from the Divine Masculine deck. And let's see what your divine masculine wants to communicate, okay? So, Spirit, tell me more about throat chakra. What does this person want to communicate to my Scorpios? I love you, Scorpio. What is my Scorpios divine masculine and divine feminine? Y'all take the energy how it resonates, you guys. It's just energy. Tell me what do they need or what do they want to communicate to my Scorpios at this time? Messages to my Scorpios. All right. What is this divine masculine? 
or divine feminine want to say at this time? Messages from my Scorpios. Okay, so they want you to know that they projected their insecurities onto you, Scorpio. So, Scorpio, your twin could have been someone that was very insecure, okay? But it was like, I know some of you guys, you possibly heard this before. You like shit, if you... If you was around them, you could not tell that this person was insecure. Like, when I tell you, Scorpio, this person wore the best mask ever. Like, you probably never imagined that your person, deep down, was very insecure with themselves. And it was like the things that they were insecure with themselves about, they projected their energy onto you. Okay? For, for some of you guys, this person's mom has a lot of influence in their life, okay? And for some of you guys, especially on this twin flame journey, their mom could have been someone that had, that was a big influence on their life and either influenced them to come toward their twin, which is you, Scorpio, or this person or their mom could have been someone that influenced them to possibly stay with someone from their past or continue to stay with a different connection, okay? Then we have playing with your heart and mind was the only way that I could control this situation, okay? So your person was very insecure, but they also want to be in, in control, okay? So it's like when your person, when your twin, when your divine counterpart realized the strong emotions and feelings that you had for them, it was like they used that to their advantage, okay? They took advantage of your emotions. And then, oh, wow, Scorpio. Yes, the karmic was the one who gave me an STD, okay? So for some of you Scorpios that's on this twin flame journey or dealing with your divine counterpart, you could have contracted some type of STD dealing with your twin or dealing with this person. And this person possibly lied, Scorpio, even told you that you was the one that had the STD. And you like, how the fuck? I'm going to have the STD, nigga. And I'm the one that came to you. Okay, so this person could have played so many mind games and projected their insecurities onto you. Okay, because this whole time, whoever this person they was dealing with, they could have known this person was messing around, but they still was running up in a raw, or they still was allowing this person to run up in a raw. Okay, so if you guys contracted the STD, from your twin or your divine counterpart, yes, the karmic was the one who gave your twin or your divine counterpart this STD, okay? And this is what your twin or your divine counterpart wants you to know. So let's see, oh, let's see what signs you guys could be dealing with. Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, we got Sag, we got Pisces, we got Leo, and we got Taurus. All right, I mean, Gemini, I'm sorry, Gemini, Taurus, Leo, and Sagittarius. All right, you guys, if you're dealing with one of those signs, there could be a message in here specifically for you. I love you, Scorpio, and stay blessed. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.